So now Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying that Americans should be flying their flags upside down. She posted this picture on Twitter and went off on this ridiculous rant about how Democrats are weaponizing the DOJ against Republicans simply for questioning election integrity. Then she goes on to spout MAGA's newest conspiracy theory, which is that the FBI planned to assassinate Donald Trump during the uh, raid at Mar-a-Lago. Everyone knows that every raid the FBI does, they do reserve the right to use deadly force if needed. But uh, MAGA has now latched onto this as a conspiracy theory and they push it out there to their flock because they know they're dumb enough to buy it. But now, why is Marjorie Taylor Greene suddenly in favor of an upside down American flag? Well, this all started when neighbors spotted an upside down American flag outside of Justice Alito's home. Now, the upside down flag started off being used as a sign of distress from the US military. And over the years, it's been adopted by different political groups as a sign of protest. Ever since Donald Trump lost the election in 2020, MAGA has adopted the upside down flag as a sign of protest and a sign of distress because they question the election results of 2020. Now, what's interesting about this is that legal experts have pointed out that the flag outside Justice Alito's home is a clear violation of the judicial ethics rules because that bars judges from displaying political statements because how can they be impartial in a case? Uh, the Judicial Code also calls for judges to recuse themselves from cases in which their impartiality might be reasonably questioned. So, for example, Judge Jackson, she recently didn't take part in a case against Harvard because she was a student at Harvard and she was on the board of Harvard, so she recused herself from that case. We've not saw Justice Alito do this, but clearly he was making a political statement. Now, he denies all of this, and he says that uh, his wife was doing it in response to some political signs that was in the neighbor's yard. How many of you actually buys that line of bullshit? But what I find really interesting about all of this is that suddenly MAGA is all for turning the flag upside down. These are the same people that came up with sayings like, stand for the flag, kneel for the cross. These are the same people that went off on tirades against Colin Kaepernick and other athletes who was protesting police brutality. I've made this point several times, but it's worth making again. A protest is the voice of the unheard. So when people were protesting police brutality, they were doing so because they felt like their voices weren't being heard. The protest on January 6th was not the voice of the unheard because those people cast their votes in a free and fair election. It didn't go their way. They couldn't accept the results. I mean, time and time again, it got proved that no, it's not rigged. You guys lost, go back home, try again. They couldn't accept the results and then they raided our nation's capital. That's not the same thing. That's not a protest because the protest is the voice of the unheard. What they did was start a riot because they didn't get their way. And it's, it's so disgusting to me that you got someone like Marjorie Taylor Greene out here suddenly saying, oh, everybody turn your flags upside down. Listen, I've said before that I'm all for protesting the flag, protesting your government, protesting your country, whatever you see fit. If you want to take a knee, take a knee. I don't have a problem with any of it. If you want to turn the flag upside down, fine. But my problem is, is the hypocrisy from these people who constantly beats up anyone who in their mind disgraces the flag, but then they can turn around and do it for completely hypocritical reasons. Their voices got heard in the election. It didn't go their way. They were stupid enough to buy into conspiracy theories, end of story. Now I wanna play you a pretty funny clip here, and I know what a lot of people are gonna say about it before I play it, but it's worth the watch. Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, was at an airport and someone heckled her with the bleach blonde, bad built butch body. Take a look at this. Bleach blonde, bad built, how you doing today? How you be? You didn't like that, huh? <laughs> Now, I know what some of you are going to say. They shouldn't bully her. They shouldn't say those things to her. But did you notice something about that? Did you notice how she just stood there quietly and didn't utter a sound? She didn't even make a facial expression. She didn't sell it at all. And this is one of the biggest bullies that we see in Congress. This is one of the biggest bullies that we see when she gets a hold of a microphone. When she goes on Steve Bannon's show, boy, she lets loose. When she, gets in, when she goes to the State of the Union address, she goes all decked out in her MAGA garb and she really cuts loose. She sits and heckles the President of the United States. But when someone heckles her to her face, she's got nothing to say. That is your typical bully. Your typical bully can dish it out all day long, but they can't take it, just like the song I wrote said. 
But I do not feel sorry for Marjorie Taylor Greene. If people heckles this at her for the rest of her life, I think she deserves it. And I'll stand by that statement by this next clip where she harassed David Hogg, who is a, I may be saying that wrong, I'm sorry if I am, but he was a survivor of a school shooting. Watch her harass him and then tell me why I should give a damn if anyone harasses her. David, why are you supporting the red flag laws? If there had been, if Scott Peterson, the resource officer at Parkland had done his job, then Nicholas Cruz wouldn't have killed anybody in your high school or at least protected them. Why are you supporting red flag gun laws that attack our second amendment rights? And why are you using kids to get to, as a barrier? Do you not know how to defend your stance? Look, I'm an American citizen. I'm a gun owner. I have a concealed carry permit. I carry a gun with, for protection for myself. And you are using your lobby and the money behind it and the kids to try to take away my second amendment rights. Anyone who would go out of their way to harass a kid who survived a school shooting deserves to be ridiculed for the rest of their life. And I will stand by that statement. I feel no sympathy for Marjorie Taylor Greene if they chant B6 at her for the rest of her life. How could anyone do that to a kid who survived a shooting? You know, I'm, I'm a gun owner. I carry a gun myself. But if I was a Republican and I had that viewpoint and I felt like they were coming for my guns, if I bought into that bullshit, I still wouldn't walk along behind a kid who survived a shooting and scream in his face. I might get in a politician's face I disagreed with, but there's no way that I could pick on a kid who survived something that horrific. There, there are plenty of Republicans out there who I disagree with, but you won't see me out there chasing a kid and harassing him about it. I'm not going to do that. I, I'm going to use my platform to use my voice here, but I'm not going to chase around after some kid who survived something horrific and, and give them the riot act. That's just ridiculous. It's as low as you get. So no, I don't feel any sympathy for Marjorie Taylor Greene. You know, people used to tell me back when I was growing up, they would say the older you get, the more conservative you will get. That's not happened to me. Actually, the older I get, the further to the left I go. But I do notice that my thoughts are turning colder and I'm not, I'm not having sympathy for things I used to have sympathy for. I, I reserve my sympathy and my empathy for people who truly deserve it. Recently, my son had a health scare. He's going to be okay. He's going to be fine. And we're very lucky that he is. But we had him at Children's Hospital in Knoxville twice. And while we were there, uh, I saw a whole lot of children who's not going to be okay. I have sympathy for them and their parents because they didn't bring that on themselves. You know, that is, a, that is a cruel, unfortunate hand that they've been dealt. There's where my sympathy goes. Not to Marjorie Taylor Greene for getting harassed over har after she would go out and harass a kid like that. I feel nothing for her. You know, when I'm watching TV and I see some dude get down in front of an alligator like this and just keep getting in his face till it clamps down on his head, have at it, alligator. I don't give a shit. I'm not going to reserve my sympathy for a moron like that. I'm not going to reserve my sympathy for a moron who would stick his face in an alligator's mouth, and I'm never going to reserve any sympathy for Marjorie Taylor Greene after bullying a kid. I mean, that's just as low as it gets, folks.